Hey guys, what is up and welcome to my channel. It's a hardback life. My name is Jordan and today we're going to be talking about the one and only Sarah J. Mass. Now, my journey with Sarah J. Mass has been a short one. I just started reading Sarah J. Mass back in 2019 and I know she's been releasing books way before that. So... I have loved every book that I have read by Sarah J. Mass so far. And let me just clear um, clear it up which books I have read. So, in 2019, I read Throne of Glass. Now, this is an interesting story, you guys. Okay, so, I... I had this thing for a while where I was trying to resist reading overhyped books. Yeah, I was trying so hard not to read, well, at least certain overhyped books. And Sarah J. Mass's Throne of Glass book series was one of them. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I refuse. I, I you know what? <laughs> I just, I think I finished Red Queen at the time. Yes, that is a hype series. But um, that was a series I was already planning on reading and wanting to finish anyway. But I, I don't know, it was just in the middle of August, I think is when I read it. July or August of 2019, and I just... Uh, was looking for something to read, and I caved. I caved so hard. I bought the first book at Barnes & Noble, and I decided, you know what? Let's read it. See what all the hype is about. And I even posted on my inst on my bookstagram with, with this book, and it said, I caved. And that was a fun thing because a lot of my friends commented like, we knew you would. <laughs> Whatever, anyway. But yeah, I read this. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Now, Selena is certainly not my favorite character, but I really enjoyed her as a character in general and um, this book was so good and I immediately picked up Crown of Midnight now this one was a slower read for me I actually, I actually haven't finished it but I'm going to this year I'm going to finish Throne of Glass as a whole since I have all seven books now but I read a portion of this book in 2019 as well wasn't feeling it so I put it down and then everyone keeps telling me to finish the series and I know I'm going to I just had to uh, I was gonna wait until I collected all the books so that I could read them and I have done just that my friends <laughs> Most of the books that I have from Throne of Glass were bought at half price books, so they were pretty cheap. Like I bought Air of Fire at um at half price books. I bought Queen of Shadows at half price books. Although I bought Empire of Storms at Barnes & Noble. I also bought Tower of Dawn at Half Price Books. But I just want to say, first of all, how I'm mad that this cover does not match the rest of the series. Why? Why do authors do that? I don't like it. Ugh. And then I bought um, M uh, Kingdom of Ash at Barnes & Noble. 
So I have the complete Throne of Glass series, all seven books. And I will binge this series like no other this year. I wanted to read it last year, but just could not find the time. Other books that were on my radar in 2020. And 2020 was a good year for, for me because I started my BookTube channel. Also, I got more involved in the BookTube community. And yeah, it's just been so much fun. And I am so happy that I am doing this. And getting to know all of you that have been watching my videos as well. Alright, the real reason we are here for this video is because we're going to talk about... This fine series here, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. That consists of A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings and Ruin. That's the original trilogy era. And of course, surprise, surprise, everybody. A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. I just got this yesterday. Oh my god, I am so, 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 so excited to read this. I read um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I loved Throne of Glass so much that I decided to finally pick up a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. And I read the first book during the week of the reading rush. I read A Court of Thorns and Roses in four days. It probably would have taken me a lot shorter of a time, because look how this book is over 400 pages, but I can devour a 400 page book if I really sit down and take the time with probably within a couple days but I was working four days out of that week during the reading rush which was unfortunate <laughs> so yeah I had seven days to read seven books but four of those days like I said within the reading rush I was working and I usually work like six to eight hour shifts so having the time to read and like obviously working and doing other stuff i was swamped and i was getting stressed that week but i finished a quarter of thorns and roses i am glad that i did because i absolutely love this if you don't know what quarter quarter thorns and roses is about it's about a it is basically a beauty and the beast retelling where we have our main character, Feyre Archeron, who basically is the provider for her family. She went into the woods and killed a wolf. But she didn't just kill a wolf, she killed a fairy. And that is a big offense. And one, like, if, like not even like a couple days later, a fairy shows up at her door um, wanting to find the person who killed his friend. And then he finds out if it was Feyre. And she is sentenced sentenced to basically living her days, the rest of her days in Prithian, which is the city that the fairies live in. It's beyond the wall. And, oh my god, I love this book. And then I read A Court of Mist and Fury finally in December. I freaking love this book. I loved it. I gave it five stars. Like, this is the best book in the series. If you haven't read it, you should. Because this, this is the first time I think that Sarah J. Mass really gets really epic with her fantasy and yeah it's so good 
It's a, I can't say much because it's the second book in the series. And I know there's still a lot of people out there who have not read this series in general. So I'm going to keep quiet, but it's super, super good. And I know there are some people who don't like this one as much. A Court of Wings and Ruin. I enjoyed this book so much. Maybe not as much as book two, A Court of Mist and Fury. But I think it was still really good. Especially the final battle scene. It was super epic. And honestly, this book's... Um, the last two books are what made me more of a Nesta fan. I, I, obviously everyone typically does not like Nesta. I mean, for good reason. But she's still an interesting character. And with all the, like, issues she deals with, personally, and, um, it kind of feel for her. And especially in this book. Speaking of Nesta, we are segueing into A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass, which is the fourth book in the series. And honestly, I'm just going to call this Era 2 because this book is about Nesta Archeron. The first um, three books were about Feyre. Oh, there's also a novella called A Court of Frost and Starlight. I have not finished that because... I just wasn't feeling it. I think, to me, it was kind of like a waste of time. Although, if there was something spoilery in A Court of Frost and Starlight that would spoil this, let me know because I have not finished A Court of Frost and Starlight. And I'm not reading this yet because I gotta finish another book that is on my um, TBR before I get to this. But anyway, you guys, this is A Court of Silver Flames. This is about Nesta Archeron, and this takes place right after the events in A Court of Wings and Rune, from what I heard. And this follows, like I said, Nesta and Cassian. Now, if you remember in the last books, um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say too much. There was a big battle... And it was a crazy one. <clears throat> and um, obviously their lives were changed forever after that battle. But to Cassian. And as they navigate life after the huge war that just happened. And I'm, I know we're going to get some background into the Illyrians and more of Cassian and also we'll just like be in the mind of Nesta as well now can we just talk about the cover at first when I saw the cover reveal which was a few months ago when Sarah J Mass released it I was like <clears throat> girl what were you thinking this is nothing like any of the covers of your previous books but you know what as soon as I saw this I thought it looked interesting because I mean you have the gray and then you have this I guess mask which signifies um, um, the series because I believe they all were cursed and had to wear masks for like the first First book and a book and a half. I I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it was um, that signifies that I think. And I am just super pumped to read this. I obviously we're not going to talk about spoilers or anything because I haven't read it. And thank you to all of you who have already read it or have already have talked about it and had haven't been spoilery. On booktube here I appreciate that but yeah um, this is what well, I a huge book that I've been waiting for and oh my god it is a huge book literally speaking yeah. 
715 pages. So this is going to be an epic one. And I, by the way, cover change, again, back to that. I know she wanted to appeal to more adult audience. So I guess, I mean, I can see that. But um, also there is a cover. Um, if you, I'll link what um, this, this artist, but there was an artist on Etsy who did a custom cover of Nesta on the cover. And I'll actually link that up real quick. Or I'll show, um, put a picture of what it looks like real quick. And I'll put the link down just in case you want to go and support that person. Of the, or ordered my dust jacket for that, so. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share with you my journey on Sarah J. Mass. And by the way, I also bought. Uh, House of Earth and Blood, uh, book one, which is Crescent City. I'm going to read that at some point this year, so be looking for that. Anyway, you guys, that was just a little glimpse of my Sarah J. Mass journey, and I have loved every bit of it. And totally... Totally go down in the comments and talk about some of your theories. And I'll totally be glad to hear them about what you think A Court of Silver Flames. Um, like some stuff that will be in the book. But yeah, go ahead and um, um, share those with me. And I'll, and I'll be super happy to like give you my thoughts as well. Anyway, you guys, that was it for this video. Please give it a like and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Anyway, you guys, have a great day. Bye.